Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a program to accept the angles of a triangle and check whether the construction is possible. If so, possible, then what type of triangle can be made? So you can see input three angles and check whether uh, its construction is possible or not. If possible, then check and display. So display. Uh, whether it is an acute angle triangle or right angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle okay so how to check whether the construction is possible is you have to add all the angles together once you add you should get 180 degrees okay once you get 180 degrees then uh, the triangle can be made made because if you know a straight line okay uh, the angle for that straight line will be 180 degrees so if you fold it into three halves and then attach the ends, you you can make a triangle Okay, that is the logic behind it. So, if you make a triangle, then the angles, when you add it together, it becomes 180 degrees. So, if it is 180 degrees, then the construction is possible. If it is possible, then you have to go into and check whether uh, the triangle is an uh, acute angle triangle, right angle triangle or obtuse angle triangle. So, first we will see what is acute angle triangle. If any one of the, that is if all the angles are lesser than 90, okay then it is uh, acute angle triangle okay second one is right angle triangle if any one of the angle is uh, 90 degree because once one angle is 90 degree other two will be less than 90 degree right so if any one of the angle is uh, equal to 90 degree then it is a right angle triangle and then final one is obtuse angle triangle where you will have one angle which will be greater than 90 the remaining two will be lesser than 90 so if you if it is so then it is absolute angle obtuse angle triangle so you are going to see uh, the same in the program so in blue j i created a program the first line is import java.util.scanner so this line is used to uh, import the uh, scanner class which is under java util package into the program and then the next line is public class type angle so type angle is nothing but a class name so public uh, is a keyword which will be uh, which is used to make the class a public class which will be visible to all the other uh, classes and the class is a keyword which is used to create a class and then inside that you should uh, start with an uh, curly braces inside that you will have the only method we are going to use is public static void main main method uh, with an argument string argues okay so this is used to uh, execute the program right so when you execute any program it will always start from uh, public static void main okay so inside that you are going to create an object for uh, input that is getting the input from the user so you are going to create a scanner object so uh, you have to use this line scanner sc equal to new scanner within bracket system in system in is uh, nothing but uh, from where you are going to get the input so it is from the input uh, that is keyboard so whatever uh, input you are going to get, you will be taken as tokens and then it will be stored into the variables. So you already discussed all this in the previous videos, you are going to the program. So you have three variables here, integer a1, a2, a3, it is nothing but angle 1, angle 2 and angle 3. Okay. So here uh, you are going to get the three angles one by one, so you are going to give a display a message, enter three angles and give three different input statements one by one, so a1 dot equal to se dot next in then the first token will be stored in a1 then the second token whatever you type see, because you will be typing three numbers the first number first token will go into a1 and the second number will go into a2 and the third number will go into a3 so the three uh, input statements are used a1 a2 a3 so all the three values will be stored in these three now first thing is uh, they, uh, you have to check uh, whether the construction is possible so how to check is you have to check with the condition statement if a1 plus a2 plus a3 that means you are going to add all these values which is input from the user check whether it is equal to 180 okay so if it is equal to 180 then there is a possibility of consider you, to, you can construct a triangle so you are going to go into the condition if the condition is false suppose if it is not equal to 180 then it will go and uh, display it will go to the else part you don't enter the if part, you will go directly to the else part and displays the triangle cannot be constructed. That's all. Then you are going to stop the program. Now, if suppose the three angles are added together and it is equal to 180, then it enters these. So, here you got three conditions. 
first condition is see in according to the question the acute angle came first but there is a confusion that because all the three can be possibly lesser than 90 okay so you cannot use or operator you have to use and operator so for uniformity i use the right angle up to use angle for second and then finally acute angle reason is i can use or operator and check whether uh, any one of the angle can be 90 so if any one of the angle is 90 obviously you will know that it is a right angle triangle so it is specific so i directly went to uh, the right angle triangle so i am checking whether a1 is equal to 90 or a2 is equal to 90 or a3 any one of these can be 90 if it is 90 any one of these is 90 then it is a right angle so it will display it is a right angle triangle okay suppose this condition is false so no no angles are equal to 90 then you will move on to the next one that is else if okay the condition is false will go on to the else part say so here you got another if statement checks whether any of the angle is greater than 90 so any one one only one angle can be greater than 90 so you are checking whether a1 is greater than 90 or a2 is greater than 90 or a3 can be greater than 90 because once you enter the value you may enter in any order okay so according to the order it automatically fix uh, if it is greater than 90 then it will display it is an obtuse angle triangle okay if any of these uh, if both are false then you will go to the else part obviously you have another one that is acute angle triangle will be displayed okay so that's all about the program you will go and execute it so first compile the program so no syntax errors so close execute the program now i'm entering uh, and uh, three numbers which is say above one, uh, 180 say for example i'm typing say 70 comma uh, 70 comma 80 is 150 so another uh, 50 I am typing so it will be above 180 so you can see that once you press enter triangle cannot be constructed okay constructed so I am going to close and going to execute it again so now I am going to give say uh, 60 60 and 60 so what I mean is when you add this you will get 180 okay and also all the three are lesser than 90 so obviously we will get acute angle triangle so uh, that is a condition what you got, gave so you got it and then the next one is i'm going to execute it again so now i am giving uh, one angle will be 90 so i'm giving say for 90 for the first angle and then i'm giving uh, so remaining you have 90 so you can divide it so i am giving it as 50 and 30 uh, okay 50 and 30 is 80 uh, sorry it should be 40 okay now it is 180 right so 90 plus 50 plus 40 it is 180 so when you press you will see it is a right angle triangle because it is uh, it is having an angle which is uh, equal to 90 right so you will you can uh, you can see that it is a right angle triangle next one is obtuse angle so i am using another uh, execution i am going to show say 110 so remaining is 70 so I am dividing it as 40 and 30. So when you add it, you will get uh, 180. So the construction is possible. Now you are going to press enter and see it is obtuse angle triangle because the reason is you have an angle which is above 90 degree, right? So these are the, exa the example outputs you can see. Hope you understood this program. We will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.